SVT's Volokarsundersökning 2018. Swedish state television announced exit polls, and as many predicted, they showed a near dead heat between the two main blocks of left and right. With just a few votes left to count, the centre-left bloc led by Prime Minister Stefan Löfven's Social Democrats got 40.6% of the vote. The most, the most responsible course of action now is not to speculate. Different parties must not lock themselves into positions but let the strong Swedish democratic machinery work its way. We have two weeks left until Parliament opens. I will work on calmly as Prime Minister. The alliance of centre-right parties led by the moderates got 40.3, but their leader called on Lofven to resign. We will together make a decision on how we will form a new and better government in Sweden. Both blocs will struggle to form a government on their own. The right-wing anti-immigration Sweden Democrats got 17.6%. It is more than they got in the last election, but not the huge breakthrough they wanted. Still, their leaders challenged the other parties to start talking to them. The leaders of the two big parties, the Social Democrats and the Moderate Party, need to listen to this signal from the Swedish people, need to, to change the policies uh, that, that the Swedish people want to see. They want to see real change. The continued rise of the Sweden Democrats does make it harder for the established parties to form a government. It seems that the centre-right alliance will probably get the first chance to try and do so. And it could take weeks of backroom negotiations. And it is clear the Sweden Democrats think they should be involved. New alliances of convenience across the political spectrum may have to be built. That could be the only way to isolate the Sweden Democrats and limit the influence they seek, especially on immigration and crime. This election did not deliver the earthquake the Sweden Democrats claim, but they are establishing themselves as a regular feature of Swedish politics. And the other parties do not yet know how to respond. Simon McGregor with TRT World, Stockholm.